Why would a company like Microsoft think ChatGPT is worth almost $30 billion? In this video, let's try to find out if you should learn ChatGPT to stay relevant in today's business world, and what Elon has to say about its true potential. A new online AI called ChatGPT was unveiled by OpenAI some time ago. It is classified as groundbreaking tech because it can comprehend the basis of human language. Since its debut, it's been making rounds around the globe for its ability to provide natural language responses to complicated inquiries. Here is what was interesting to me. Well over a million people used the new AI chatbot in its first week because it seemed realistic. Many users are impressed by its human-like reaction times, leading them to speculate that it might someday revolutionize how people interact with computers and access data. Ah yes, as one of the founders of OpenAI, there is no denying that Elon Musk is connected to this one. What's unique about the program is that this AI chatbot covers a vast range from essays, novels, and song lyrics to marketing pitches, complaint letters, screenplays, poetry in response to text prompts, and lots more. I understand that in the early stages of its development, human AI trainers simulated dialogues between a user and an AI assistant for the model. Here's how it works. A program like ChatGPT could be used for practical purposes like online content production, customer support, digital marketing, and as some users have discovered, even code debugging. The bot can mimic human speech patterns and can answer a wide variety of topics. The bot's public testing version attempts to comprehend users' inquiries and provides in-depth responses written conversationally to resemble human-authored text. Although anybody may use ChatGPT for free, the AI has been so well-liked that OpenAI was forced to temporarily disable the demo link. However, it is live now for anyone to use. I would really suggest you try this out for yourself after this video. ChatGPT is not a unique idea, but it is the best AI program we have ever seen available to us. It explains why Microsoft has been discussing investing billions of dollars into the business that owns ChatGPT. It has been claimed that OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, would be valued at $29 billion after receiving the cash, which would also come from other venture capital companies. Although it's still being determined whether the transaction has been concluded, Papers explaining its parameters recently circulated to potential investors suggested that closing by the end of 2022 was the goal date. Microsoft's investment would be a part of a convoluted agreement under which the business would get 75% of OpenAI's income until it made back its investment. It is still being determined whether the money spent by OpenAI on Microsoft's cloud computing division counts towards balancing out its account. Once that amount is attained, the ownership structure would return to Microsoft owning 49%, other investors owning another 49%, and OpenAI's non-profit parent would own 2%. I really hope the founders remain the main control over it. Microsoft is a very powerful tech giant, but it has been a long time since they did something new and big. Facebook made a big bet on Metaverse, Amazon is getting into more digital assets for future growth, and here we have Microsoft. That's why Microsoft needs this deal as much as OpenAI does. Additionally, a profit ceiling differs for each group of investors. It is rare for venture agreements where investors want to get a 20 to 30% return on their investment. The deal might be broken if the conditions or the investment amounts alter. Earlier this week, ChatGPT was enabling its staff and earlier investors to sell their shares for a $29 billion value. Microsoft, which had given OpenAI a $1 billion cash and cloud credit investment in 2019, was reportedly in discussions to boost its share. However, Microsoft's acquisition involves little risk. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, claims that ChatGPT is losing money since each interaction with its chatbot costs the business a few cents in processing resources. However, most of it will be used for Microsoft's cloud division, which is making significant efforts to catch up to rival Amazon Web Services. Microsoft will get 75% of the earnings until it recovers its original investment if OpenAI manages to turn a profit on items like ChatGPT and the picture production tool DAL-E. So here is how I would describe this whole situation. The more significant benefit for Microsoft is that it will collaborate with OpenAI to build the technology on Microsoft Cloud. 
which immediately positions Microsoft at the vanguard of what may turn out to be the most powerful consumer technology over the next 10 years. Think that competitor Google contributed to developing some of the technologies utilized by OpenAI. Microsoft was also in discussions to include some of those functions in Word and Outlook email, among other apps. Microsoft's $10 billion investment is a wager that OpenAI will continue to maintain a significant competitive advantage over other businesses employing the AI algorithms that power services like ChatGPT. But OpenAI will likely have to contend with fierce rivalry from companies like Stability AI. How these new AI enterprises will create moats and network effects to fend off rivals is still a mystery. It's pretty hard to succeed financially in consumer technology without such. Like many other IT behemoths, Microsoft is committed to the development of AI. They were aware that technology-controlling businesses would have a considerable competitive edge in the years to come. They put themselves at the front of this change by investing in OpenAI. The collaboration between Microsoft and OpenAI will undoubtedly produce outstanding results in no time. Their collaborative research made innovations in machine learning and natural language processing, and they created new technologies that were soon embraced by businesses all around the globe. Future is going to get more digital than it is now. Chatbots using artificial intelligence have the potential to improve writing by making it more precise and efficient. For instance, they may provide synonym suggestions, help with spelling and grammatical checks, and produce full text. People with difficulties in language, such as those learning a new language or those with particular impairments, may find writing to be more accessible as a result of this technology. However, it is crucial to remember that the use of AI in writing also raises moral questions concerning the veracity and originality of the work that is generated. The fact that the output quality mainly depends on the input quality is a significant chat GPT restriction. In other words, instructions from experts lead to superior responses. Another drawback is that since it is programmed to provide answers that seem natural to people, the replies may lead people to believe that the output is accurate. Many users observed that ChatGPT sometimes gives false information, including those that are radically false. The program gathers information from enormous volumes of data, depending on the user's instructions. Sounds simple, but without the proper training, it's easy for AI to merely utter random words. What makes ChatGPT unique is that it genuinely sounds human. It has gained attention and stirred up controversy online. It could be too human. In contrast, various AI programs allow you to experiment with some of their settings, providing an understanding of what's happening in the background. For instance, Adam King, a Canadian developer, produced InferKit, you may dial the sampling temperature using InferKit to increase the text's unpredictability. The fact that ChatGPT was taught using reinforcement learning from user feedback makes it unique generative pre-trained transformer architecture is the foundation of ChatGPT. This implies that the program uses deep learning methods to analyze and produce text. The model understands the subtleties of human-produced natural language using vast amounts of data from the internet. It explores the content by dividing the input text into smaller parts, such as words or short sentences. ChatGPT responds after putting everything together. By playing both sides of the conversation and providing the AI with feedback on which of its replies was most suitable, human AI trainers improved the first ChatGPT model. A reward model teaches the AI to recognize instances in which it generates responses that seem human. One of the most significant public worries regarding ChatGPT and other language processing AI technologies is the possibility of abuse. For instance, a student may utilize ChatGPT or another program to create an essay for academic writing. The student effectively plagiarized and needed to complete the assignment. However, it would be challenging to demonstrate as ChatGPT is made expressly to sound human. The possible use of AI language tools to disseminate false material should be a far more concern than a plagiarized university homework project. Whether we like it or not, AI is here to stay for the time being. It undoubtedly serves a purpose. It can assist in assisting writing as well as making language more accessible. Ironically, the AI world that Google helped to shape is catching up with them and posing a challenge to the status quo of conventional search engines. A former Google employee who supervised the company's advertising claims that Technological events like these allow greater competition 
and that Google is merely a victim of its own success. Google is thus in a panic, and CEO Sundar Pichai has ordered a code red to quickly redirect the organization's resources towards hastening the release of its AI pipelines and prototypes. Many Google teams have been instructed to redirect their work towards AI portfolios that can counter the danger posed by OpenAI's ChatGPT rivalry. Future is very bright for most AI-focused companies from now on.